Well, it's an epidemic hiding in plain sight. Human trafficking is lurking in our neighborhoods, embedded in our schools, taking victims from all walks of life. Tonight, some perspective from a local mother who lost her daughter to this horrific industry, now dedicating her life to saving other girls in the same situation. Channel 6 has been doing our part with our Selling Girls series, and reporter Andrew Moore tells us how this mother's horrifying experience can help us all be more vigilant. Andrew. Chris, Janice Charles hosted an event in Belton today to teach others the realities of this horrendous industry. And if you, you think you knew what Texas was facing, well, think again. So it starts off as a boyfriend or girlfriend? Yes, I'm, I'm most of the time, yes. Janice Charles' daughter, like most human trafficking victims, was not taken. Instead, she was lured in and brainwashed while still living at home. She missed her father. He left when she was young. Natalie was tricked by what is called a Romeo pimp. He made grand promises. Help me out, and we're going to build this empire together. And once she wanted to be in, she couldn't get back out. Pimps took her money, her identification, and then took control of her life. Janice found and brought her daughter home multiple times. Once, after finding her daughter was responding to ads for company on Craigslist. We had her in counseling. We, she was hospitalized. We tried everything. But no matter how many times they brought her home, they stayed in control. And then one day after she left, she told her mother she was not coming back because her pimp would kill them. And so she went back so that they didn't hurt us. Around a year later, Natalie was found dead in Houston. Her murder has not been solved. And if you think this was a special case, think again. Bell County Lieutenant Michelle Siance says in Bell County, there are around 20 cases that start just like Natalie at any time. What we're seeing are, are children between the ages of 12 and 14 um, that are going into sex trafficking. So they're students. Sunday night in Belton, Siance showed a presentation to the community in the Beltonian Theater. And Charles has started her own organization to fight human trafficking. Your daughter is, you know, in the life and she wants to get out. We will go get her. NIF Ministries is now ready to help any person who falls into that trap and get them out before it's too late. And after a year of work, NIF Ministries has gotten one uh, girl out of that industry. They're working to help several others at this time as well. Chris.